Crypto is so much more than just coins. A lot of us get uh, caught up in the fever of the prices of trading them, but crypto is so much more than just coins. Let's take one example. We worry about regulations. We worry about our government's going to accept it. Uh, we worry about the volatility versus fiat currency. But the nation state is a dead end street. Not unlike, not terribly unlike this one. The nation state is not going to be around. We in cryptocurrency are going to eat the nation state. And I say that because what is basically the role of the nation state? It is to keep people accountable for their actions. Uh, what is a ledger? A ledger is a system or document that tells us who is responsible for what. Now, up till now, we have not had trustless ledgers. Uh, we've always had to have a middleman to guarantee the corrupt, guarantee that it's corrupt, for, corruption free, that any ledger system, that any system for holding people accountable is free of corruption, that it's managed in a way that is trustworthy. Well, guess what? The nation state has failed at that. It is rife with corruption. And now we have Bitcoin, we have blockchain. And that is basically what those are, what we have in them is a trustless ledger. And so now we don't need the nation state. We are going to eat it. Therefore, we don't need its acceptance. In fact, if it accepts us, that's a great, uh, that's a great, I mean, they're just, getting themselves, uh, they're just shooting themselves in the foot, really. So don't, we can't wait around for the nation state to accept us. We have to go beyond it. Another reason that crypto is not just coins Besides the fact that it is uh, political liberation, it's going to enable us to eat the nation state, have a more um, decentralized, polycentric world. Another is that it enables us to escape uh, from the corporatocracy. It is corporate liberation as well. Because what, what is the role of corporations? They're a middleman, not unlike the nation state. They provide certain levels of trust. Well, uh, you know, we don't need that anymore either. Because now with trustless or trust minimized mechanisms like the blockchain, we can deal direct with each other. We can deal direct on decentralized exchanges. Uh, we can deal direct on uh, decentralized marketplaces using things like escrow. Already, we trade uh, Bitcoin uh, back and forth for fiat and other cryptocurrencies using uh, things like local Bitcoins. Uh, we can sell real estate directly. Um, we don't need banks anymore. We can effectively be our own bank. Of course, the very concept of a bank, I think, is, is going to go away. This is why when people say, uh, we've got to bank the un unbanked or unbank the bank whatever it is um, you know what that is a, a corporate middleman concept it's not about that it's not about giving people bank a bank or a decentralized bank the whole paradigm has shifted now <laughs> Cryptocurrency is the end of every excuse that you ever had. Uh, you want to complain about business licenses, you don't need them in the cryptocurrency world. You want to complain that borders and tariffs and government regulations are getting in your way? Well, cryptocurrency eats those right up. 
You want to complain that there's no chance to earn money or uh, get a job where you are? Well, forget about jobs. Let's talk about opportunities. Let's talk about steaming. Let's talk about crypto trading. Let's talk about exchanges. Let's talk, talk about getting businesses to adopt cryptocurrency. Let's talk about selling cryptocurrency to people. This is a wide open marketplace. And that's another reason why cryptocurrency is not just coins. Another reason why crypto is not just coins is because it's an opportunity to restructure the global society. No longer countries, no longer borders, no longer, if I'm in Africa, I can only trade in Africa. It's an international economy without speed bumps. It's an open lot, not unlike this one. It's a bit ugly, but it's ready to be built on. Everybody's worried about regulation. Our government's gonna accept it. Should we get governments to have their own cryptos. No, this is all foolishness. People are also worried about code. Everything is about code. Crypto is so much bigger than this and we are never going to realize its potential until we get beyond just worrying about code and worrying about our government's going to accept it and worrying about the price of the coin and minor things like this. Uh, nobody likes to talk about politics. Politics is a dirty word. But you know what? Cryptocurrency is politics. When we change the story we tell ourselves about cryptocurrency, when we change the, the paradigm in, within which we are operating, when we look beyond the current situation, the current paradigm, to a stateless one, where we don't really care what governments think, where governments have a lot less power. Then we're planning for the future of crypto. And then we don't really care about what's happening right now because we're building tomorrow. And that's where we need to look. We need to stop the focus on, on the price of the coins. We need to stop the focus on just trading, on making $5 today on some trade. And we need to think beyond to what the next steps are, to what a cryptocurrency world looks like. And that's what we need to build.